Hi there! Welcome to our tutorial series on growing plants in your very own garden. This series will teach you how to propagate, grow, and care for your plants from when they start off as seeds to when they grow into trees. In this video, I'll be covering what you need to know about cleaning and counting seeds before planting them. Let's first check if the seeds come from ripe fruits. This is important for the seeds to grow into healthy saplings. Seeds can come from fleshy fruits or dry fruits. For fleshy fruits, you can try pressing them. Ripe fruits are darker in colour, larger and softer than unripe fruits. For dry fruits, observe their appearance. Dry fruits become papery and shadow when you roll them between your fingers. Seeds from ripe fruits are also firm and darker in colour than immature seeds. For fleshy fruits, remove the flesh from the seed. Running water can be used to remove any remaining flesh. Larger fleshy fruits can be cut open with a knife. Be careful not to damage the seeds or hurt yourself. For dry fruits, remove excess pods, fruit husks and debris attached to the seeds. Seeds can be damaged by pests, diseases or may be empty inside. These seeds will not germinate and may spread pests and diseases to healthy seeds. You can conduct a float test to pick out unhealthy seeds. However, this method will not work on all seeds, such as those with wings or tufts of hair. It is best to plant seeds on the same day of cleaning. If this is not possible, larger rainforest tree seeds can be kept in a plastic bag for up to a week with some moist soil, sphagnum moss, or paper towels. Place them in a cool spot and make sure that they do not dry out and are able to breathe. Seed counting is useful to record the number of seeds sown and to track germination rates later on. So use this method if you have many seeds to count. First, carefully measure the weight of 30 seeds. Then, divide the weight of the seeds by 30 to get the average weight of a single seed. Measure the weight of all the seeds you have and divide their combined weight by the average weight of a single seed. This is the total number of seeds you have. Now that your seeds are ready, you can start to plant them. To learn how to properly plant your seeds and other ways of growing plants without seeds, you can check out the next two videos in our series. See you next time!